I came here to talk about officially anti-fragile, which is something that doesn't uh, uh, break when there's a random event and in fact even benefit from it. But in fact, I'm mostly going to talk about fragility. But anti-fragile is just a footnote on the notion of fragility. The big step you make is in identifying the fragile. The entire idea that there are two approaches in life. One, to try to read it to the future and guess and understand risks and we're very poor at it. And in fact, the more we predict, the more we measure risk, the more vulnerable we become to shocks because people take a lot more risk under the illusion of prediction where in fact they don't predict. The other method approach is to identify what doesn't break when you make a mistake and what a system that would tolerate mistakes would look like. And hence that measure of fragility that I'm introducing, you can measure fragility you can, in anything. A glass, uh, you know this, I know why it's fragile because it breaks and, and things like that. So I will talk about fragility, the concept of what is fragile. I will talk about the robust and something I call anti-fragile, which is the property of things that can gain from random events, from shocks, from disorder, from uh, time, uh, things that can really handle a mistake and even benefit in the long run because they can handle mistakes very well. In the same category I call the disorder cluster. Uh, is I put all these things that benefit from that cluster and that cluster of course as I said includes time, error, so in the same category my bones, they like stressors uh, my, my body likes random feeding you need variation, variability volatility, you gain from it so there are things, I, put, uh, I study that category of object and realize that in fact the world is still around Okay, <laughs> yet we're not good at predicting so we're going to know something right and in fact, things that have survived are those things that can handle these mistakes and even benefit from them. Most of innovation comes from mistakes. Most of the drugs you see on the market are here as side effects of other drugs. They come from mistakes. So the anti-fragile is something that when you make a mistake, typically it's either harmless or an opportunity. In the long run, you're going to get opportunities like that because you cannot probe a complex system that's very opaque simply with knowledge. You cannot, you just cannot get there.